deck developed real, real-time applications people were getting for the first time and take for granted today. Hello, I'm Gavin Clark and I'm with the National Museum of Computing and Reading Museum. We're working on a project marking the 60th anniversary of Digital Equipment Corporation in the UK. I'm here today at the Royal Berkshire Archive meeting John Barrett, who's one of those former employees of DEC. We've got a ton of material here, old photographs, reports, really take us back to the last 30 odd years of DEC history in the Reading area and in the UK. DEC were first to be recognised as a mini computer. There was lots of competition, but we were the leader in mini computers. <laughs> We decided this should be archived because it's history, an important history for the Reading area. This is the Harwell Decatron which created for the Atomic Energy Authority. We've got the deck PDP-8 behind me. We have some hidden gems coming out for the project which we're really keen to showcase in Reading. People who knew anything about the computer industry, when you say you work for DEC, uh, they're quite impressed. I think the technology historians would say that DEC had a tremendous impact on the uh, future of IT and they had had an important role to play in the early stages of the computer industry in the Thames Valley. I think just about everybody applied but only a fraction actually got interviewed by digital and I was one of the lucky ones. As students in Reading, the Digital Revolution project resonates with us personally because we benefit from its rich technological history. We are working with Reading Museum to get more young minds interested in the digital industry, as well as having the opportunity to create an educational workshop that will run alongside the exhibition. 